Hey guys, this is a shrub. I think we talk about. I think we talk about the shrub already. This is a honey suckle. We haven't talked about it yet, have we? No, we, ha I, I know. we have no. not. A lot of ceramacia. I think that. Anyway, so this is a honeysuckle, Lonely Sarah, okay, or Lonely Sarah Mackii. Mm -hmm. um, it's an invasive species, and uh, you see a lot of those are here, and then, of course, not all of them actually bear the red fruit, okay? People plant it because, ex exactly for this reason, it's kind of showy, you know, mm -hmm. when it actually comes to fall, has the, uh, the red fruit. But the problem is that this is a species will be the last one to shed the leaves in the fall but the first one to have uh, new shoots coming up in the spring. So he's got a really, really long growing season as such that he can really outcompete a lot of native species and create this uh, really, really shady, you know, environment um, in the, on, the, uh, you know, on the forest floor or below the canopy and then that make the recruitment of say some of the oak species or hickory species very, very difficult. Can I, can I add then you something know to that which too? ones they are. <laughs> oh, you mean this? Yeah, but it's very hard. But they are hard to kill too. Yeah, That's they, another thing. You that you pull them yeah. when they're small. You pull them really easy because they're shallow rooted. Yeah. But then when they actually become like this, it's like cut and spray. Cut, cut spray and spray. Burn. And then look, burn. look, burn. look at this burn. understory. Look at the understory. There's nothing growing underneath. So. A lot of people also plant them for birds, but they're a starvation diet for birds. They're full, they're of, not. They're full of sugars and they don't do any good for them. So, but anyway, so this is uh, invasive species, okay?